I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know why you're here. It's to know how I got this juicy, luxurious brown hair color. It's not just brown, baby. It's like dark ash brown with blonde roots. Here's a secret. I didn't record the process. What are you talking about, Sophia? Yeah, girl, like when I did the hair, I didn't even think you guys would want a tutorial on it or it was that special. But turns out you do. Instagram. Instagram, oh, they're the only reason you guys are getting a video. I mean, I could not post a picture without getting comments like, girl, where is the tutorial? I couldn't even enjoy the hairstyle again without doing something. What was I gonna do? At the time, I already had the hair in for a couple of weeks. It had faded. It was cute, but it wasn't the dark, rich brown it was when I had first dyed it, you know? So I began to brainstorm and thought, how am I going to make a tutorial on hair that's already colored? And then it clicked. I'm just going to do it on this wig. It needs a touch-up anyway. I'm going to go through and show you guys exactly what I did all over again. And lucky for you, I did record the beginning process on my Instagram story, and I still had the clips. Smart girl, fine babe. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Okay, so this clip is pretty ratchet. It's not the highest quality, and the hair is all in this buku hairstyle, but I'm just showing you the clip to show you that the hair was black to begin with, before I have trolls say, oh, you're not really doing the work. But for demonstrative purposes, I'm going to be using the wig as it is and showing you what I did. I started by putting my wig on the mannequin head. Now, before even thinking about bleaching or coloring the wig, you don't want all the hair in your way. So I put the frontal hairs in a ponytail just like that. And then I went through the rest of the wig parting the hair and splitting them into sections. Starting at the bottom, I worked my way up. I would grab like three rows of tracks and put it into a ponytail. Now, depending on how thick your wig is, that's how many sections you're gonna make. My wig is three bundles and a frontal, so it wasn't that thick. And I made about five equal sections. Notice that they are very, very neat and that you can clearly see like there's a clear open space between each track separation. Now, I know this looks hunta skanta, but it's gonna all make sense. Trust me, I'm not a professional. I'm just showing you how I colored my hair. See, it looks familiar. Now, when you're coloring hair on a wig, the easiest way I found is to put them in these sections and work from bottom to top, bleaching, coloring, what. Ever, because your hair is currently black right now. So when you start bleaching, you're gonna bleach this hair first, put foil, bleach this next section, put foil, bleach this next section, put foil. And the foil is to protect the roots from being bleached as well. If you've watched my Lace Frontal series, then you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Let me show you a clip from Instagram. This was the wig when I was bleaching it. I used 40 Developer and bleached from black to a honey brown. And I worked from the bottom, as I shown you on the left, all the way to the top until everything was covered in bleach. And I let that sit until it turned a honey brown color. I washed it out with shimmer lights, but it didn't do nothing because the hair was too dark. So I put it back on the mannequin head and bleached the bangs lighter, the tips of the hair lighter, kind of ombre it. And then I used shimmer lights again and it worked that time because the hair was light enough. After washing the hair, I went in with Color Charm Wella Toner in T18. And what this is gonna do is get all that brassiness out and highlight those blonde hairs. And this is how it looked afterwards. Gorgeous, black roots, brown hair, and blonde highlights everywhere. After that, I put the hair away to let it dry. All right, so I know I look crazy but I'm trying to separate the parts where I want it to stay ash blonde and where I'll put the ash blonde dye. If you see markings on my hair, like a black dot or something, it's just showing me where to stop with the brown so not to take it too low. Now I know you've probably never seen somebody do this on YouTube and it's not professional, but I'm just telling you how I accomplished it. You gotta do it how you know, you know? 
And the only way I know to color hair is to be ratchet. And when the final product is done, it's not. And you know what, Sophia? You are absolutely right. It came out gorgeous. Now, basically, what I was saying was I took these little two pieces in the front that I knew I wanted to stay blonde and I twisted them just so I can, you know, when I take the wig off, I know which parts not to color dark. And that included those lighter parts in the front, like the bang area. Your hair is all one color before you color it. So twisting it makes a difference for you to know. The aftermath is like all dark brown hair with the ends being ombre. So I knew I wanted to ombre the ends, but I also wanted those pieces in the front to be ombre as well. Does that make sense? I'm trying not to use all these cosmetology terms. Anyway, the hardest part is over. It is finally time to start coloring the hair. Yes, mama, you made it and I'm so proud of you. So at this point, you have successfully bleached your hair, toned it, shampooed, conditioned it, and it is towel dried and ready to go. I bought these Revlon Color Silk hair dyes and they're $3 a box. I got blonde for the highlights, dark black for dark black girl. For the roots, it's totally optional. And then this brown one for the main hair. You're gonna need like two to three boxes of that. You might also need two boxes of the blonde depending on how many highlights you plan to make. But anyway, I'm taking a trash bag and placing it on the floor to protect my flow. And I'm wearing clothes I don't care about. I'm also wrapping a trash bag around my tripod and using T-pins to keep it from falling down. I don't know why I included this information. God bless you if you need it. Along with my handy gloves, I have some foil, big and small, because it's gonna be used to create highlights and keep the hair all sectioned and neat. I have two dyeing brushes and a spray bottle of water because your hair is towel dried, my hair is just dry, and I gotta keep it damp, okay? So I'm starting at the bottom like we have this whole time. Yes, you're gonna want to put your hair back into sections. I'm gonna start mixing my hair dye and I suggest you take like a Sharpie or a marker and just mark the bottles because it kind of gets hard to tell which bottle you're squeezing and you do not want to dye the blonde parts black and the black parts blonde and the, you know what I mean. So just label them. But anyway, let's get started. I'm spraying my hair so I can be like you with my towel dried hair and I'm gonna start by applying the ash blonde to the bottom of the hair, kind of like an ombre effect. And then I'm gonna take the dark brown and spread that all over the top and middle section. Now keep in mind, your hair is freshly bleached and toned. It is all one color, sis. You're gonna have to dictate how high you want your ombre and stuff to go. But as for me, I'm just touching up an old color that's already been done. It's kind of good that my hair is pre-colored so you can see how it's supposed to look and how far you're supposed to go down with each color. But I'm just letting you know, I'm not really you know, saturating it. You gotta get in there and make sure that everything is colored. After that, I'm gonna take a big piece of foil and I'm gonna wrap all of that up so it's out of the way and it doesn't disturb me. And then I unravel the next section and repeat the same process. I've applied the dark brown with the brush and I make sure to saturate it in. And I also remember to ombre the ends with blonde hair dye. Now you see this little piece right here in the middle that's all highlighted, let me grab it. This piece right here, it was highlighted earlier before, I'ma just touch it up, put some blonde hair dye there and take like a medium sheet of foil and wrap that in there. Tuck the hair inside, fold it up and put it away. This will make sure that I don't accidentally dye it brown or get brown hair dye on it. Then I continue to go through the rest of the section, putting the dark brown hair dye anywhere. Now you are totally free to choose where you put highlights. It's totally up to you. But I'm making sure that I ombre the ends and then I wrap the whole section up so that it doesn't disturb me. And then I move on to the next section. Now you see why it's important to have sections, right? It makes everything easier. But yeah, this section here, I decided I'm gonna just color everything dark brown, no highlights. Make sure I get all up in there. Remember, my hair is already pre-colored, your hair is not. So make sure there is no splotches or neglected areas. So once I'm through, I take a sheet of foil and put it there so that it doesn't what? 
It doesn't disturb me. Now, babe, I hope by now you have really gotten the gist because when I was editing, I'm like, oh, should I just speed through this and cut all this out? But I'm repeating the process over and over because I know all this stuff is like not foreign to me, but you know, some of you guys are really beginners and this tutorial is probably the most complicated I've ever done. I got you, girl. I want you to feel like I'm doing this with you. All right, so you see these light little pieces? I'm gonna take those and put some ash blonde hair dye on it, soak it in there and wrap it up. You get to choose anywhere you want your highlights to be. After all, all your hair is like honey blonde color. My hair looks brown because it's been colored previously, but you literally can choose anywhere you wanna put highlights. So that's what I'm doing right now, taking sections of hair, putting ash blonde dye and just wrapping it up and highlighting it. You wanna make sure that everything you don't highlight though, you go in and you soak in brown hair dye. Okay, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm going back, even though I don't really have to, and I'm covering it in brown hair dye. The long pieces I did not highlight as well. You do not want honey blonde in your hair at all. So I'm going in and covering everything in brown hair dye, except for what's in the foil. And then finally, I'm gonna take the black hair dye. And remember, it's optional to buy this box, but I'm just using it to add that salon perfect detail at the top of dark, dark roots. I think it just adds like a glam touch to the hair. And then we are done with that part. How are you doing so far? <laughs> the next part is now the frontal. Okay, so first things first, grab those two pieces in the front that you sectioned out and you're gonna saturate them in blonde hair dye. Make sure your hands are clean and have no dark brown or black on them. I've been wiping my hand on a towel. But anyway, I'm gonna now put the black hair dye at the roots. Maybe your hair got covered in bleach, maybe you lightened it too light. This is just to touch it up and return it back to being black. Totally paying attention to detail, it's not that serious. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it in foil and secure it away so that it what? It doesn't disturb me. And then, yeah, there goes that. Now into the frontal. I've already colored this hair, but your hair is like mostly bleached. So you wanna go in and make sure all your roots are colored dark. You can do it all at once and I'm gonna show you how, but if you want like more detail on that, check out my Lace Frontal series where I color hair. Um, but anyway, I'm going in with the ash blonde first because my hands are clean and I'm going to um, wrap up whatever I'm highlighting or just do the ash blonde first in general. Then I'm gonna go in with the dark brown color and color that hair as well and make sure I get the roots really, really good. Now me, I'm not really getting all up in there because my hair is already dyed, but as for you, you wanna make sure that your roots are colored. And then I'm going to wrap that up in foil so that it doesn't disturb me. And I continue to do the same thing. Blonde on the end, brown at the root. And also remember, I did mark how low I wanted the brown to go. So if your wig is not made yet, you might wanna put the frontal on your head and see how far you want it to go down. Or if your wig is made, you know, make sure you mark it like I did earlier in the video. Finally, we're at the top. Oh my God. <laughs> this tutorial has been so complicated to explain and I'm just happy I was able to, girl. But yeah, I'm going back in with that black at the root again. Totally optional. And I'm using my finger to just make it look natural. Like it's growing out of my scalp. So I'm repeating the same process now on the other side of the frontal. If you know you're not somebody that has patience, like you're even skipping through this video, maybe you shouldn't even color your own hair. I'm letting you know that right now. This requires patience and love and tender nails. Okay? But anyway, after letting all the color sit for 45 minutes, it was finally ready to wash out. Glory be to God. Anyway, I washed it out and I used shimmer lights throughout the whole process because the more you use it, the more you're training your hair to get rid of all that brassiness. So I soaked that in there. I let it sit for like, you know, five minutes, washed it out. And then I went in with my Garnier Fructis 
Sleek and Shine Serum. And that looks gorgeous. The hair was so healthy and so good. Looks so nice. All that was left was for me to put on the wig and style it. Chee! Fine, babe. Doesn't that look so... Oh, my God. God, that looks so good. I went in and I added some juicy curls and don't worry girl, I got you, oh my gosh. I have seen you all's requests on making a curling tutorial and I got you. Let me be, God. Harassing me on Instagram, low key works. <laughs> but that's it guys, I love y'all. See you next time. Jigga, drop it. I don't want stress, no drama I don't want fight, no wahala Nobody should stress me at all If it's drama, then I don't get involved Jigga boys I don't want stress, no drama Bills. I don't want fight, no wahala Come on, too Nobody should stress me at all If it's drama, then I don't get involved